He's the star of the Smash Hit series Suits, which is premiering its sixth season here in New Zealand with his lawyer character, Lewis Litt. And as Lewis would say, we're lit up that you have come to hang out with us on the cafe. Rick Hoffman, welcome to the cafe! Thank you. It is so good. To listen to that voice, I love it. Okay, a few things people might not know about you. You're allergic to cats, unlike your Suits character. Well, yes, I am. And you, you like my voice. Yeah, I do, I do love your voice. Uh, yeah, I'm allergic to cats. And uh, avocados, I heard. And what? Avocados. Avo who told you that? Wow, we found out. Let me explain. Okay. I used to think I was allergic to sushi mm. because, obviously, avocados in most sushi rolls. But then um, one night, hanging out with some friends, and we got a little, uh, you know, inebriated, and went to Taco Bell mm. and ordered a couple burritos and had guacamole in it, and I had to uh, be rushed to the hospital to get my stomach pumped. No oh. way. No lie. Wow. So yeah. I was 26. So it is avocado that you have. Yeah, and it's embarrassing because I love it. Who has a problem And there's with not avocado? one person on the planet that doesn't love it. So if I tell somebody that I'm allergic to it, like, oh, God, I don't want to hang out with you. <laughs> Chips even. and guacamole? I mean, it's, oh, totally, it's just... totally snack limiting hanging out with you. See what I mean? Now it. you're making me feel bad. Yeah. That's all right. And it's totally like a national take fruit Take away here. the guacamole that we've <laughs> um, Do you find when you're walking down the street here, because it's such a big deal in this country, you're getting constantly recognized? Yes. And it's, and, you know, it's, when I would answer that question, like in the U.S., it's like, well, you know, sometimes. It is ridiculous here in a in the best of ways. It's um it's overwhelming. Nice. And I just wish my boss was here to see it because like <laughs> he doesn't get a chance like we do. It's all right. They'll say. Are you getting are you getting um sort of approached in strange places? Um, I'm getting approached by strange people <laughs> <laughs> in kind of public places that wow. are like the gym. Oh and really? They are like while I'm like you know out of breath and sweating and look awesome. On the cross trainer. Can I get a picture? I'm like, yeah. hell no, you can't get a picture. Yeah, let me dry off I'm first. sweating. <laughs> what do you think, Rick, has made the show so successful? Because clearly Kiwis love. I mean, the world loves this show, and it must be nice to work on a show where people fall in love with it that much. Um, what I mean, I look. All I can tell you is, is it has everything to do with the other five actors that. Put their heart and souls into these uh, these characters, and it just seems to me. I think it's people out there identify in their own way with one of the six, or maybe two of the six, because we've all seen versions of these people out there. I think, and because of the fun we're having out there uh, in Toronto when we're working, I think that somehow comes through, mm. and maybe people feel like they want to have fun. Too. Well, so we feel at the fun. cafe, actually. Yeah, yeah, you're tight right. unit. So you're quite a tight unit off screen as well? Yeah, I mean, like, we've, it's, you know, you hear stories, you know, when you're in the business, how there's dramas and weird things that go Are on. Are there prima donnas in the acting business? <laughs> Never. I don't believe it. I know, I know, it's shocking. But, um, <laughs> but you know, it's, um, we all appreciate what we got. Right. Because you'd have to be crazy mm. to be on a show now that's lasted going on seven seasons. Somebody who's unhappy with that should get out of, I mean, come on, leave the business. Do something else that, you, you know. Something about your character though, you know, always seeking approval from Harvey, highly competitive. Do you get on with Gabriel? I do get on with Gabriel. <laughs> I'm laughing because I was just telling friends of mine, like, I wish he was here because oh. all I would do the whole time in any interview is make fun of him. <laughs> wow, I would actually. constantly make fun of him. Well, and, and, like, we're so different. <laughs> It just somehow works as, as you know, as even though Lewis and Harvey kind of work, mm -hmm. Gabriel and myself are so different. Um, you know, we genuinely, we our relationship has grown over the years. So. He has been mm. on the show it's convenient. last year. <laughs> yes. Do you want to hear what he said about your character? Oh, I'm sure I'll be bored. <laughs> okay, well, you're going to watch it. Okay, okay, have a look. Other characters around it, obviously, Mike Ross, who is the, the lawyer who's not the lawyer. Mike <laughs> Ross? <laughs> Lewis Lett. L Lewis. I love Lewis Lett. Lewis. He's just Lett. so funny. Never heard of him. No. no. <laughs> Never heard of Lewis Lett. I know. <laughs> um, Do you care to respond? Ha 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 ha. ha. <laughs> I don't know, man. You should see some of the jokes he tries to pull on me, and they're so not funny. And I tell him, and all the crew laughs because they know he's not funny as well. <laughs> So it's okay. <laughs> will probably call me. He's like, "What do you? What's what's your problem?" I'm like, you know what my problem is. He's uh, he's got a great sense of humor, and we uh, 
I don't know. We like to take, as they say, take the piss. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, hold there. We're going to be back in a minute. So much more to ask you. Okay. And I've got a little quick fire game. Since we're the cafe, I thought, yeah, I thought I'd ask you about some food and some food, our food and drink preferences. Is that all right? Yeah, anything but avocado. Okay, anything yeah. but avocado. Take off sweet. Guacamole. <laughs> That's right. We'll be back with Rick just after this short break. Welcome back. We're here with Rick Hoffman, the star of Suits, which is now premiering on Lightbox, the second half of the sixth series. Now, Rick, mm. tell me, uh, your character, Lewis Litt, likes to go mudding, which is having mud baths. I thought we'd better clarify that one out front. <laughs> mm -hmm. But Thanks. you had a bit of an experience when you first did it, didn't you? Uh, yeah, Lewis loves to mud. Um, this guy, hell no. <laughs> um, what happened was a couple years, well, now a few years ago, and when we first did the first mud scene out of four now, Patrick and there I. There you are. <laughs> hey, look at that <laughs> sexiness. Um, so basically, Patrick and I were put in these baths, but the crew, you know, as great as they are, they were like, uh, yeah, mud, sure. Like, we know what we're doing. Like, uh, sure, uh, what are we doing? Mud? How do, you know, how do we do it? How much do we put in? And ultimately, we are flat, we're in the bathtubs and they're pouring mud on us and we are floating to the top. <laughs> and they need us to look like we're relaxed. So they keep putting more and more mud in. And then they, can, they can't strap us down. So we're sweating. We're like halfway like out like this, look like <laughs> morons. And then basically they put 300 pound weights on us to keep us down Jeez. until we finally got the scene right and it took six hours. <laughs> now in a mud bath, for all of you people out there who love to bathe in mud, it takes about 45 minutes, takes out the toxins. We were in there six hours. So um, out comes my kidneys, spleen, and gallbladder. <laughs> so no one knew what they were doing, did they? <laughs> no. But then slowly but surely throughout the next couple of scenes, because the writers, they were like, no, nah, we'll do it again. And then we'll do it another time. So by the time Sarah gets into it, it's all nice and ready. So Sarah has a nice hour and a half. Chills. Perfect. Gets all the toxins out. Looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Oh, you set mm -hmm. it up for her. Okay, your character, pretty amazing. Great lines, great charmer. What do you like the most about your character? Oh, man. Uh, well, what's not to like, really? Well, he's they... a bit of an egg. Well, I mean, of course. I mean, originally he starts off as... Well, I have a worse word for, than that. I'm he, being, I'm being, I'm being morning that's television. That's right. He's, uh, he's, you know, he starts off as like a very uh, guarded, not nice human being. Mm. Um, but then throughout the season, you start to see his cracks, and you see his human, the human elements, and now he's like a walking heart. And the roller coaster that the writers have put me on, you know, playing from scene to scene, it's, it's a, it's truly a dream job. Mm. I mean, like, what, what, what else can I ask for? I mean, like. Yeah. You know. See, I'm still back at season one. I'm a late comedy. Oh, you're at season so one. I'm still at season one, oh, no, so no, you're no, still no. an egg that stage. I'm just going to tell you, season two, episode four, is when it starts to become sort of serialized. I'm binge watching it. A friend of mine watched 15 episodes in a row. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, you know, season one introduces things, you know what I mean? But the show, I think, personally, you know, really finds itself in the, in the second season. Season two, episode four. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that one. Nice. OK, I've got some quick fire for you. Uh, Rick, just since this is the cafe, we like food, we like drink, we know you don't like avocado. Oh. But anyway, here we go. Here we go. Stop saying that, Mike, you saying. Oh, OK. But I love food. Chicken, beef or fish? What's your favourite? Oh, chicken. OK, cool. Beer or wine? Ah, uh, wine. Wine? Tea or coffee? Coffee. Flat oh, yeah, white, nice. Flat Water or juice? Juice. Okay. Toast or cereal? Toast. iTunes or Spotify? iTunes. iTunes. And are you a card man or a cash man? Card or cash? Yeah. Mm, this is going to be, uh, I don't want to lie, card. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who has cash these days? Well, just, you know, some people do. It's you're supposed to always carry around That's some cash right. with you. That's right. You know what I mean? If you're like, you know, come, it's old school. Yeah. And uh, you're in Canada. You live in Toronto? I'm in Toronto. Been living there for six years. And do you love it there? All year round. Um, yeah, I love it there. I have a, a um, edible two-year-old son. Oh. Edible. Edible. Bet she's um, gorgeous. Yeah, I, I mean, thank God he doesn't look like me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he is, uh, I mean, yeah. it's ridiculous. And, um, yeah, we made it my home. I mean, uh, who knew that the show would last this long? Nice. And uh, it wasn't supposed to be six years, but it is now. And long may it continue. Yeah, yeah, thank loving you. the treatment. I hope you have a really good time here in New yeah. Zealand. So I know you've been working very hard, but now you get to chill out and relax uh, I've been having a great time while working. The, the, everybody is so freaking nice. Nice. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll live here.
Oh yeah, yeah oh, we like that. Go. It's another Sorry citizenship my story for you. About that. Yeah. <laughs> Absolute pleasure. Thank you so much, Rick. And the yeah, new series you. of Suits is premiering now on Lightbox. You can catch up, you can binge watch, you can do whatever you like. Just keep watching it. Yeah, thank you so much, Rick. Thank Cheers. you. Absolute pleasure. Thank yeah. you.